Hey guys, I'm back with the uh, mono red combo deck in standard again. I'm just having so much fun playing it that I wanted to get some more games on camera. Uh, I didn't get any like one turn kill combos in the last video, so I'm gonna play some more games and see what happens. Um, when I was running electrostatic wall on this deck, uh, it's a lot easier to do the one turn kill combos, but I think the overall win rate is higher with Sahili in the deck because you can win normal games. Um, but Burning Prophet is just the truth, man. Like, let's let's see what happens. Um, so the decks that we're scared of are basically Thought Erasure type decks. Those are hard. Um, but any kind of like green creature deck is a good matchup. <clears throat> I don't like the mono red matchup either, but we'll see what happens. Um, I'm gonna be aggressive and discard this land. That seems bad. I'll just discard Kendra. <coughs> Mono Red, I don't like the matchup only because they can kill Steamkin so easily. So it's all about finding a window to try and get it up. <coughs> um, I think this is a shock opt turn. I don't want to run out Steamkin until I can get it to three. At least force him to have a bigger burn spell. Because uh, uh, none of the other creatures in the deck died to shock. A uh, fourth land would be good so I could set up Sahili plus token as a blocker. Because if Sahili can live a turn, then we can make a lot of blockers. Obviously, the tokens die to Chain Warlord, but they're mostly expendable anyway. Alright, so now they have Wizards lighting up. So. There's really no chance in hell that this team can does anything, so that's okay. <coughs> yeah, shock's good. We still need a land, but I'll take shock anyway. Just need to stay alive, basically. Um, okay, thanks for doing that, man. Um, since we didn't hit land, we could opt shock more than fury but that's burning a lot i'll just force him to do this I, it's not gonna work or anything but i just want to spend some mana this turn and now he's less likely to just play a chain whirler this turn which we wouldn't like they don't currently have lightning strike in the deck so chain whirler is difficult to deal with <coughs> all right he's probably gonna play a burn spell now it's okay We don't have anything really going, so if he has like a frenzy soon, um, no, that's fine. <coughs> All right, we actually do want to write the fourth land. Did not. Um, let's just opt. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I think I'll burn one of these first. We're not really doing anything this game. It's probably the most air heavy hand I've seen. Um, at this point I just need a fourth land, so I'll scry for one. Yeah, scry. Light up the stage is so awkward without electrostatic field. I don't know how I feel about it. Alright, well, we failed to find lands. <coughs> We're probably just gonna get burned out in two turns. That's okay. Every video has to start with a mono red beatdown. I mean, you could just throw like Chain Whirler and cards like that in this deck to make it better in this particular matchup, but what I'm going for is a pure combo deck that's better against a wider range of decks than just the extreme ends of the format. <coughs> Alright, so we just have to fade any card in their deck for like four turns and then we might be able to win. <laughs> They don't kill us, probably. Burning Prophet. Okay. So what should we do? We should play Shock. 
and a cantrip. Um, but we only have four mana. And if I get Burning Prophet in play, I have a chance to win next turn though. So maybe I do that. If I find a land to play Crash Through, I'll be happy about it. But I'm not going to keep it on top. Alright, so there is a realistic chance to win the game next turn if we don't die. But we probably will die. Um, we were, it would have to involve drawing a Steamkin. Um, but we could have either two Burning Prophets or two Steamkins if we do draw one. Okay, let's see. So, I could copy the Burning Prophet. That gives me an extra Scry. Uh, I'm not going to have enough mana though to go Steamkin plus three spells. So it's not going to work. Um, let's do it anyway. I don't know. Try to get something going here. Crash through. I might just play Finale. I'm just going to scry everything that's not Steamkin, but I can't really win this turn. I, I don't, I need to have, ah, uh, so close. All right, we'll set ourselves up for next turn, I guess. Um, if he draws a mountain, we'll win. So, do I want to play spells from hand or finale? Hmm. Maybe spells from hand. Uh, I do want to draw The spells are more flexible, so I'll play the finale. <clears throat> Shock. Whatever. Um, I'm not gonna need to. Ah, no. If he has a bird spell, the game ends, right? So <clears throat> I'm just gonna look for cantrips on top. It's kind of cool how we're kind of assembling all this action out of nowhere. Uh, I mean, that'll be helpful next turn. Oh wait, I needed a land. That's what I'm doing. I'm just going for a land. So I wasted a scry, but we'll keep that one. We get like seven scries, so we can basically demonic two, you know? like the kindling phoenix or something like that or like any creature that's not chain whirler you know or the wizard that he's already played a couple of so there's some draws we could fade uh oh uh oh okay let's go off <coughs> I'm just going full mana just in case um so I'll start with Finale for Shock. I need to play Shock so because it's red. Boom. And this is Lethal. Look at that. We beat Mono Red. That's amazing. Just looking for one mana spells that draw a card. That's I mean, I think we have Lethal in play already. I haven't done enough. He's only at 10, yeah. But I'm just going to do as much as I can until he concedes because it's fun. If he uh, shocks me, like if he slow rolling me, I'll be sad. <laughs> All right, so we have infinite mana now. Um, let's just do some stuff. I'm just kind of demonstrating the combo. Glad that I happen to get some rare opponent. I wish there was some way to give all these tokens haste, you know. <laughs> like, Sahili is nice. I guess I just need to discard that one. Um, in a lot of the matchups, but it doesn't let you combo. It doesn't let you kill only one turn on its own. <coughs> which makes me sad a little bit. Alright, we have more than lethal, so we're just kind of BMing right now, but I'm just kind of demonstrating how the deck works. This Burning Prophet has scried a lot of cards to the bottom. Wow, quite a lot of cards. Some of that was opt, but mostly it was Burning Prophet. Looks like we're done with stuff, but that's okay. I could play this Sahili to like copy a Burning Prophet. I could have done that earlier to do more damage. 
But anyway, let's just get him. Boom. <coughs> Alright, I thought that was going to be a loss, but we faded like two draw steps and pulled out our combo. So, one and all on this video. Let's keep going. That was pretty fun. <coughs> Okay, this hand's pretty slow and awkward. But we're on the play, we have the blue mana. Eh, I'm gonna give it a shot. <coughs> we're just gonna be digging for our third land to land Sahili and then see what we do from there. All right, well that was quick. So now we can opt into whatever. Light up the stage is still vital to the deck. Um, swamp, huh? That makes me not want to discard my extra Sahili in case of discard. But I'm not sure what I want to do. Mm. It's a tricky turn. Uh, like in theory, I want to discard Mountain, but it's just riskier. I could just opt this turn. I think I'll do that. I don't know, that was a tricky turn. I can play to the percentages or I can play to the guaranteed Sahili on three. And I'd rather guarantee Sahili on three against the Swamp. Seems good. I don't know. Okay. It's not what I expected. <laughs> okay. Well, he probably can't kill Sahili next turn. I would still keep a shock. Um, no lands. So the Tormenting Voice would have worked out. Ooh, I drew Steam King. I'm just gonna throw Sahili out there. Um, if he plays like the Vampire Lord, it will still get one loyalty. Most likely. <coughs> um, this looks like a deck where every copy of Shock will be a solid removal spell, so. <clears throat> okay. Hopefully he has nothing else to kill the Sealy. I don't know what it would be. I've never really played against a vampire deck. Shock is a nice draw. Um I think I just wanna get down Steam Kin. And then I'll just shock. Uh, I honestly have no idea what they play in their deck, so I'm not gonna play around stuff. I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna do now. I guess you attack Sahili like with both of these, right? Well, I guess no, no, no. Just attack the flyer. But we're at a healthy life total still. <clears throat> now that we have an artifact in play, our next to Sahili can immediately copy a Steam Cairn. But we need to draw some cheaper spells first. Whoa. Okay. Okay, what are we doing here? We can't easily get... I'm, I'm just going to draw some cards here. I don't need all these Sahilis. Might be a mistake to discard that, but... The upside of getting Steamkin off this turn is so high. Um, if I play Shock, I can light up the stage. Or Sahili. If I attack with a 4 4 Steam King, he'll just trade, right? Hmm. Ah. This is tricky. Um. I kind of want to get Sahili down, but I can't get any tokens. Let's just do it this way. But now my blocks would be awkward. Maybe I just sit like this. Yeah, I like sitting. That seems better. Don't expose this to Healy. It's not like I'm using my lands. I'm just using stored mana on the Steamkin. 
But this is an example of why I light up the stage can be so awkward. When it's one mana, I would have been able to go crazy this turn. But since it was three mana, I got stuck. <coughs> we prevented three damage from keeping our steam tune back as well. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Finale is pretty good. We have a shock in the bin. We have some cantrips, so that'll be good. Um, one, two, three. Hmm. I really just want to get in damage right now. Let's see if that happens. All right, now we're going off. So let's place the healy. <coughs> If, even if this doesn't end up in a huge combo turn, this token won't go to a 4-4, four four, so that's good. Um, how do I want to do this? I think I want to guarantee the mana. So I will finale first. Can I afford to finale for two? That'll give me six red mana. So yes, I can. Um, yeah, let's do it. Hope I'm doing this right. I, it doesn't leave me mana open for opt, but that's okay. Alright, let's shock his thing. Let's cast this. <coughs> I'm liking the way this video is going so far. Two, two combo games in a row. Alright, well, I'm gonna place itself. Hopefully, this light up the stage does something. We don't have any scry action going from Burning Prophet, so we're not guaranteed to like fully combo or anything, but it still worked out. Oh, I could play the Steam Fence and opt, so let's do that. Uh, I just need spells at this point, so it seems kind of goes away. Oh, we missed. Okay. Well, we, d we did a partial combo, but we're still in a good spot. We just gained a huge board presence. Um, so if we draw any cantrip ever, um, I would say we can probably win the game on the spot. But if we whiff a bit, we'll just have to grind it out a bit with these creatures. Okay. I'm happy to trade off tokens all day. Um... Not stacking me, not stacking Sealy. Okay, so uh, I'll just I don't know if there's any reason not to do this. Anytime you can trade Sealy tokens for real creatures, you're doing okay. And I will at least have a token left after this to copy if I need to. <clears throat> and just reducing their board a bit feels oh he killed the wrong creature that's bad for him okay so i think i want to copy the burning prophet i have plenty of mana and the scry is very important to me and it's possible i can kill him with a partial combo here so let's go i'm just scrying any non-cantrip to the bottom so that's a cantrip so we get to try again sadly we waste our Extra scribes, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I think I will Steamkin now. I'm not gonna have an issue getting three spells again. That's a good one. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna be able to combo off fully. Okay. So, Sahili was pretty sweet this game. Did a lot of copying, and. Alright, yeah, that's game. <clears throat> they even have a light up the stage. Um, should I play the Spring Prophet first? Do I want to light up the stage, or I can just tormenting voice save a mana? Do I need triple scry? Not really, but let's do it. It only costs one mana. Okay. Uh, shock you. Tormenting voice. Creature. <clears throat> oh, I don't know. If, I don't have trample yet. Oh, I do. Okay. 
It's nice that the cantrips, like, mostly people think of those one mana red cantrips as just red mana draw a card. But in this deck, the trampoline first strike will actually matter quite often. Alright, let's just keep going with the one mana cantrips. Yeah, this is what the stack looks like <laughs> in this deck often. <clears throat> this is pretty cool. I really enjoy this deck. Burning Prophet is probably going to be underrated. Except for this deck. Like, without Burning Prophet, we would just probably get stuck with Mountains in our hand. But with three Burning Prophets in play, Judas and Healy, um, I feel confident that every cantrip can find another cantrip. Alright, we found another first try again. So let's scry through all these. And even if we somehow ended the chain without being finding lethal, we're just pumping out a million tokens, so our opponent has no chance to get through that. Uh, I didn't think about this one careless early enough, but it looks like I do have the mana for that. I can't see. Yeah, I do. So, I can just cast this one. Uh, looks like I already have lethal out, but I'm going to keep going, as always. Yeah, that's a fun one. Normally I would just kill my opponent when I know I have lethal, but um, I'm kind of demonstrating how this deck works, so let's keep going. I hope there's a shock in the yard. No, there's not. So this is the end of our chain. Uh, if we hadn't gotten trample yet, we would have just had a chance to do it there. <coughs> I assume this is lethal. Looks like, yeah, it's like 30 damage or so. Only five of the tokens are attacking, but our burning prophets are big enough on their own. Alright, we can resolve all now. Oh, one more scry. Okay, you get like six scries off of every finale, so. Oh, I guess I'm getting nine scries. <laughs> sure. Let's just go. <clears throat> Dang. 28, 30. 30. Oh, zero tokens are attacking. So that's only good. Cool. We won the game. And we turned out our spectacle for light up the stage in the process. Alright, let's keep it going. So we played against mono red and like black white vampires so far. And we've comboed off against both of them. The mono red one was precarious at one life. But it is possible if they miss on first goal, they don't hit it every time. And then the black and white opponent was probably a good matchup. Alright, this hand looks good to me. We've got Burning Prophet into Sahili. So, assuming we find any of our cheap spells, which is most of the deck, we can start going off turn 4 in some fashion. Um, I like Burning Prophet. It, the 1 3 body actually does a decent job at protecting Sahili in the early game, especially against a white deck. Let's see if that. It's weird that they didn't have a 1 drop, so. I don't know. Maybe like double history of Benalia type hand. This matchup uh, could be really hard when they have the crazy draw and they go off. And you just get ran over. Um, my only interaction is shock, really, until I'm comboing. Yeah, see, look at the way this body lines up. It's pretty nice, right? <coughs> if they have Benalia's Marshall, it'll be sad, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, finding shock is good because. We just want to have in cheap, number one cheap spells to activate our stuff, but otherwise we just want to have uh, the removal in our graveyard for the finale of promise so that we get two activations of it. So now we're just looking for any sorcery. Yep, as predicted, history of Benalia. So now I want to see if there's a way to protect against Benalish Marshall. I think I'm just going to shock the token. Burning Prophet doing a good job of keeping Sahili's loyalty high. Alright, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna play... I am gonna play this land. We generally want like four or five lands with this deck. Um, yeah, we're still not doing that much, but we're not falling behind on board, which is nice. I'm just gonna do this now. No Convoke shenanigans or anything. Um, yeah, I like Opt. It gives us a chance to find a sorcery, and 
it's another instant to put in the graveyard for if we draw a second finale. And it just gives us more flexibility when we do castle finale. Do I want to attack? Yeah. Well, actually, um, if he plays Banalish Marshall to 3 2, then I could double block. Would I want to do that? Yeah, I don't really need to squeak in small damage, so. Like, in a normal red deck, obviously 2 damage is huge, right? But in this deck, we're just trying to cobble off. Um, and if we succeed, we'll win huge. So I'm not really concerned about 2 points of damage. I'd rather maximize the chance that we keep running our Planeswalker. It's a new one. Uh, it's not bad, I guess. 1 mana, 1, 2 with a huge upside. Yeah, it seems like a good upgrade for the white deck. <coughs> okay. So we're not happy about that, but we are going to have some time with our Saheeli. So we're basically going to look for any sorcery now with our scry action. And then next turn we can finale. We found it. So... Um, I'm going to play the crash through. If I find a land, do I want to keep it? Because I can, I can shock plus crash through. Oh, other interesting question. Do I want to copy this thing? That's a lot of damage. I think I do. Genius okay. is as genius does. Indeed. Alright, so I am going to look for a land here. <laughs> the other reason I want to do it all this turn is because the finale makes three tokens, which will just completely block for a turn. Alright, so I'm gonna. Do I want to cast Shock on the Tithe Taker? Or just play Opt? I feel like Opt is more valuable. Um, I just want to be able to do some more stuff next turn. And probably. Like, I'm not gonna finish the job this turn. Oh, Steam Kid. I can't say no to a steam can, right? I have more chances to draw. Like, I'm going to be drawing two cards right now, right? So the second draw is an opt, and it gives me another chance to find spells. And any spell with all these burning profits in play chains into more spells. So I'm going to keep the steam can and speculate on finding a second, or finding a set spell in the second card, I guess. <coughs> Lots of spy action. So I'm just going to attack with the three things. Okay, well, the first one was a miss. Alright, well, a shock isn't... So I want to stop on my upkeep to use the shock. So 6, 12, 17. So they don't have to block. But we're putting them at a low life total. So this is good. Are any of these knights? No, so just the token. Let's buff next turn. We have five blockers. We theoretically just want to keep one artifact token around in case we want to use Sahili's copy ability as a burning profit. Just want to make sure my upkeep stop is there for next turn. Because I may want to upkeep shock and use the scry, but maybe not. We'll see. Um, so our opponent walks and went to seven, it looks like. It's all fine. <coughs> We're, we still haven't won this game. Oh, the, the Vigilance is so annoying to me on that card. Um, but this looks fine. I'm struggling with whether I should upkeep Shock or not. It doesn't kill anything, right? Uh, let's see. He's attacking me, so I don't need to block. I can take seven. So if I shock him in the face, he goes to five. He has three blockers. Uh, so I'm only getting three through. But I only need to find two more damage. It's unlikely. I get to cast a Healy for a token and a scry. I think there's way more upside. Ah, oh, it's so close. But I'm gonna draw. Okay. It did not pay off. What should we do? 
Um, I could make two of these. I can only get these to three. Um, I can make my tokens bigger. So I, I gotta keep this. In, oh, I can't tap any of my creatures actually. What should I do? I can make a token of three three, but that doesn't do that much. <coughs> I'm not sure. I might just do nothing since I missed. Kind of sad. If I found any cantrip that turn, I would have been able to win the game. I don't know if I played that turn correctly. I'll reconsider the shock on the upkeep again. Now that we have Steamkin in play, we're not going to be limited to that mana. Okay, still annoying, but still beatable, I believe. Uh, I'll probably triple chomp. Let's think about this. Now I have, these two attackers are big. So let's say three attackers, so I have four that get through. God, it's so close. Five, 10, 14, I have to block one of them. I want to block more. Five, four, go. <sighs> this seems like the highest chance of winning. <laughs> All right, so if I play shock on their face now, Let's say so they block let's say I copy something and then I have four I have four Sahili tokens left. I'm still one point short. Maybe I should have played Sahili last turn. In fact I certainly should have. But I'm gonna do this. The upside is there. I need that scry. Whew, thank goodness. Alright, let's see. I just need to draw any spell. Really. Draw. Ah! Oh, what a bummer. All right, what do we do now? I think I'm gonna cash in a loyalty on this Sahili just for a scry. I know how to stop you. I also grow the steam can a bit. Okay, now the can trips on top. So, whew. I just need a liver turn. Hmm. I don't need to play land. Did I miss lethal there? No, I don't think so, right? Three blockers. Oh, yeah, I could get him to one, I think. But this is good. <coughs> Next turn, I'm going to make two Burning Prophets. Assuming he doesn't Conquest or Adrenal or something, but he would have played it previously. I'm just going to triple chomp. So, I think we will be able to win this turn. I can't think of what he could have that would destroy us. <coughs> okay. Alright, so I don't know if we'll be able to straight up kill him next turn because he has a lot of toughness, but we'll be able to advance our board to nonsense. And, I mean, there is a good chance we do kill him. 5, 9, 10, 11, 12. 17. It's like we have to do a full one turn kill from 22 life with two burning profits. It's very possible. We're hoping to chain into Tormenting Voice at some point to cash in these mountains for cards. One attacker. Okay. Alright, so first things first, I have to. So Healy, copy, burning prophet. Let's do that. All right, now I just have to scry over and over into cantrips. And I'm always going to cash in Runaway Steam Kin as soon as I can. So here we go. Game on. <clears throat> okay, there's our first one. We basically need to keep doing this. Uh, eventually I might find Finale, which would be awesome. Basically, each one mana cantrip is free because of Steamkin. We have some leeway to play stuff like Tormenting Voice and Light Up the Stage. And then we want to find Finale eventually, and then we start pulling ahead on cards. So let's get some mana.
scrying everything that's not a cantrip to the bottom. Okay. Ooh, I didn't check carefully enough. We might not have the good mana for that, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. <coughs> we just uh, need to be a little safe with our mana going forward after the light-up stage. Because light-up stage is negative two on... Even if I just decimate his board this turn with an attack, that would be pretty good. It's hard to see us losing from here. Alright, so. Yeah, we'll be fine. We just can't do that too many more times. Alright, there's that card. Uh, I should check if I have a shock in my graveyard. I don't remember. I'm definitely keeping the finale. If we found a one mana card off our second light up the stage card, we can um well, we found a land which we can just play freely, keeping the two in our hand. Um so we do have a shock, so that's nice. Um these have a first strike and trample already, so I need to go full control mode to get the extra counters. Does it matter what I play? I'm gonna play shock oh, if I shock him I get in the light up the stage freely in the future. Um I think I'm gonna conserve mana. So let's do it for one. Shock. And whatever. Alright. Resolve. Oh, oh, don't resolve all. I need to use a beacon. Go away, mountain. So you can see this turn why Burning Prophet is so important to this deck. It's our kill condition and. Alright, I just need to check that I have another shock in the yard. I might not. Oh, I do. Okay, so finale is great. Resolve. This is the important one. We want to get the two extra counters from... Okay, now I can go off full control mode. <coughs> okay, boom. Alright, so... There's no way... So Steam King will be a 3-3 again. And I have three mana floating. Alright, we give up. Yeah, so we would have eventually killed them. We just had to get a lot of triggers off of our Burning Prophet to make it actually lead for that turn. Oh, cool, I ranked up. Planet Tier 1. Nice. I've been winning with this deck. I started somewhere in gold when this more of the spark was released. I think I'm gonna play one more game on this video, see how it goes. It's been a pretty good display of the deck's ability so far in this video. We've played against three aggressive decks and comboed off on all of them. Uh, this hand... I mean, you could talk yourself into keeping this, but I think Amon is just better. Like, you get to scry it. No harm, no foul. Two finale promise in the early game when you're potentially stuck on land, it's just too funky. Oh boy. <clears throat> kind of the same hand, um, with Light Up the Sage being the second finale of Promise. But now that we're already at six, yeah. Alright, hopefully we draw lands. But this might be a anti climactic game. If we don't hit. It's against Esper Control, most likely. <clears throat> Alright, odds are low. We only have 19 lands out of 52 cards left, so. Since we missed twice already. Scry and draw. Actually, we missed three times. If we do find our second land, we win the game. Because all of these cards can start helping us find more stuff. I was actually hoping that was a thought erasure because... Alright. Now the question is... Do we play Tormenting Voice or Burning Prophet? Um, landing Sahili would be pretty good. Um... I think I'm just gonna discard this light up the stick. Well, I mean, all these cards are good. I just wanna maximize the chance of playing Sahili, I think. It's kinda of weird, but I might discard Burning Prophet, actually. Um, 
I thought I'd regret this, but it's the least impactful in the early game. Well, I am at least glad I played the cantrip this turn because we would have missed on land. Um, but if our opponent gets to pass with absorb mana into this hand, we're pretty, feeling pretty bad. Alright. Not already sure we actually don't mind that much because our hand is all card advantage cards. Hopefully I discard opt accidentally. Sometimes you discard opt with tormenting voice when you don't have blue mana just so that you can finale it back. So right now I don't have any instants. The reason opt is like the only reason we're playing with the blue lands, because sometimes you just want a, an extra card draw off of your finale. And prior versions of this deck, I was only playing lightning strike and shock as my instance. If there was a red instant that drew a card, that'd be, that'd be amazing. This deck would love that. But if it was cheap enough, it would have to cost one or two. Could we get like red red deal of damage to a creature draw a card that'd be awesome there's a three minute card like that but that's too much yeah as predicted well i don't know if i said that but i thought they were going to take the tealy because it was our most important turn three play and we would have hit uh, what do we do now i think just a value light up the stage just like casting divination um so we found lands uh, we're not going to get full value out of it, but we got them out of the way. Now that we have our full... Now that we're up to four mana, we don't care about access lands anymore. <coughs> so opponent on the third tries can't to multiple thought erase your hand, which is pretty good against us. Looks like they're searching for lands, most likely. Alright, we're going to opt. If I find Sahila, that would be nice right now. I found Steam Kit, which is only okay. Um, I want to use these Tormenting Voices to discard lands later on. Do I play the Steam King? Maybe I opt first. What would I even want to play this turn, though? Not sure. I guess when I draw a land, I can Tormenting Voice, so that's good. I'm not happy with that sequence, but relatively speaking. I'm not happy with my spot in this game, but I'm happy with that turn. Sahili is definitely a better draw in this matchup than an Exorcetic Field would be. As evidenced by the fact that it was their first thought of Asian target. Okay. Um, I mean, I definitely want to play spells this turn so that they can't just freely Chemistry's Insight. They're only halfway to flipping us, can't. Uh, I think it's uh, Steam Can Tormenting Voice. Let's see what happens. I mean,. Surely they just kill it, but at least they'd have to spin me on. <clears throat> if they counter the Tormenting Force, we're sad, but it's not the end of the world. It's just two cards. But one of them was a land to begin with, you know? So. Alright, so we're happy that we went for the Gusto this turn. Um, oh, I could keep this mountain in hand. I think I will do that. Uh, I just I don't want to be in a spot where I can't cast my tormenting voice when I want to, and it's unlikely I really need excess lands at this point. I could have gone land warlord's fury, but I don't know if that really benefits us that much. Like this is not a game about mana. This is a game about card advantage. Well, I think that's how it always will be against us for control, but we're on a clock because of the search for Canta. We have nowhere to. Kill enchantments. There's minus on our steam can. Okay. You know what? I'm not done yet. So we're just gonna assume that they don't draw any interaction for two mana. Well if they have moment of grabbing, they're gonna snap it off right there, right? Okay, so we can kill Teferi actually. Um I think I'll Tormenting Voice first. This is a, this feels like a close game. I could, in theory, go for... If I had a Burning Shot Prophet in play, I would just try to kill my opponent this turn. Um, like, if it was if it was Burning Prophet in play and Steamkin summoning sick, 
I would go for it, but the way this game is, I'm just going to, uh, I want to keep double boot open. I think I will need a fifth land in this game, so I might as well play this now and keep the double boot open. That's interesting. So do I want to shock? I think it was bad of them to wait this long to do that. Give us a lot more choices. They should have done this on their end step, but maybe they forgot to put this top or something. Um, I don't want to play this. I don't think I can kill Teferi anyway. Not anymore. Do I want to save mana on this stuff? I think I do. I don't know. It's kind of a borderline play, but... Oh, we're in a borderline situation, so I'll go for it. Okay, that's cool. So we get to keep going. I already tried to land. Stinking, huh? <laughs> Oops. Yeah, um... Alright, this is fine. We're in the same spot we were a second ago, but our opponent gets to untap with the fairy. So, we're probably dead, but we'll give it another couple turns to make them force, like, to prove that they can do it. If they ever ask Kanta with, like, a removal spell up, then we'll just concede. We need to move quickly. I don't know, I guess I'll keep playing it out, because maybe Sahili can do something, but... It's pretty slim at this point. If they ever have absorb, plus us having no creatures in play, then we can concede. This game was a mulligan to six with an awkward one lander, but we did draw reasonably well out of it. But it's just always going to be true that. Uh, Thought Erasure is a tough matchup. Thought Erasure plus removal. I heard you had some dead things that needed to stay dead. Do I? Yeah, I have some dead things. Going through half my deck. Um, this is the matchup where I would consider Arclight Phoenix in this deck. Um, I one thing I haven't experimented. I've experimented a lot with the mono red version, but in that version, the only discard outlet that is reasonable to play. Is but I must to to is the worst card to exile because I can't do anything with finale I promise like he clearly wants to exile a creature to gain two life but after that he should be exiling an instant or sorcery that's kind of like on its own you know whatever mana cost range or instant or sorcery range but I don't blame my opponent for not really understanding this deck <coughs> so what I was saying is Arclight Phoenix is good <laughs> not against that card um It's good if you have multiple uh, discard outlets. So I have I've only recently added the blue to this deck for opt, so it could be worth trying with charter course. But then uh, the steamkin is much less consistent for like comboing off turns, so definitely a trade off. It's more of a mid range combo deck than a pure combo deck at that point. All right, so we actually have some cool stuff going on. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Shock of any value. In theory, it kills the fairy this turn. So let's just play our stuff and see what happens. I'm gonna shock and. Like, shock also gives us the mana. If I. I can't tell my voice, but I could light up the stage, probably, right? No, I don't have five mana. Um, so I just have to do it for one. Which is fine. Alright, full control mode. When we have those three counters, we just need to get that last counter off. Oh, I do need to keep the steam can at four, though. No, but I have another field of promise, so the counter matters. Solve. Solve. Alright, we're going full control for now. <coughs> Shocked. Fairy. That. 
If I had Burning Prophet in play, this turn would be a combo kill, but I do not. Worth noting that I did discard one earlier in the game, but I probably would have just died at some point. Uh, yeah, I can do that later. This is a sick one anyway, so I can just really cash it in. Alright, so now I can do it for, for three, and then I can opt. So this is nice. Bang. Solve. Solve. I think I'll leave this one on four. I don't want to rely on hitting red skulls. So I just want to kill the fairy. Alright, we found the rush. Ooh, a Sahili. Ah, oh, it's close, but no, I don't. I want another spell. Well, definitely another spell. So we're just gonna go ball fully. This is pretty sweet. Um, what do I have? Tormenting voice. Sure. The clock is scaring me right now, so I'm just gonna go quick. I don't need full control mode. I'm not really doing much except making tokens. So the Cryo Canarium is still gonna wreck us a little bit. I don't really know what my game plan is here. Uh, maybe I should, uh, Sahili to make a bigger token. I'll do that. I don't know. I'll do that now. I like you being fast. Yeah, I've been missing Burning Prophet. It survives the Carnarium, so sure. I'm gonna get my attack in now. Just get it over with. Oh, I lost all my mana, but that's fine. This is hardly my worst defeat. Um, alright, all my guys are bigger than Cry of the Carnarium, so... Does the shot go away? I don't remember. I should probably just cast it, because I don't remember. Pretty bad of me to do it that way, but that's fine. I honestly don't know when that came from. But yeah, I'll keep playing just take my time. So if our opponent deals with this board, all they need is Kaya's Wrath, which they can just can't afford. But if they don't do that, we left ourselves in as good a position as possible. And if they do that, we have double divination to try and go off again with the CLA still in play. The worst case scenario is they go Kaya's Wrath from hand, and then uh Vraska's Contempt from hand. Which they've done half of that so far. Uh, uh, if we had um, electrostatic fields on our deck, we would have been able to combo that particular turn. But it's also worth noting that we might have not gotten to that stage because our opponent thought of Aishwood as a Healy early in the game. Whereas if that was electrostatic field, they probably could have ignored it and then taken one of the combo pieces. I'll be back. Just, just our opponent really doesn't understand this deck because they're exiling the wrong cards every time. Now they've promised irrelevant in the graveyard. <laughs> okay. Stage. Let's refuel. So they didn't. They weren't forced to use their private aquarium. So the tokens we make this turn are. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna play all that stuff and pass the turn again. We're fighting on a losing battle, but at least we are fighting. Our opponent has to actually find stuff every turn. Any turn we get down top of the burning property, we have a chance to win. Shock is not really what we wanted, but we'll just present this board and force our opponent to deal with it. We have more divination action later. I mean, I feel like activating Escanta is like strictly better than playing chemistries, right? They already have eight mana, which is the key. You just need eight to be able to Escanta plus four mana spell, which is like the sweet number. So 
I think Dad Silver is making some questionable plays this game, but ultimately small ones. It's possible they should just be like one copy of each of the cards I'm considering this deck. Um, because you see so many cards, whichever one happens to be good in that matchup, you'll see it. Or whatever card you need situationally, you can scry to the top. Like one Electrostatic Field, one Arc Light Phoenix, that seems crazy, but I don't know. It'd be a 3 2 haste every turn. Um, weird stuff like that. Maybe like. I, I don't know what cards to trim on. Maybe light up the stage. Maybe only three Sahelis, stuff like that. I don't know. It's tricky. If our opponent didn't have the Escanta, I'd feel pretty good about this game. But. Eh, that hurts. So I probably want to upkeep Shock now. Just to give ourselves a chance at going off. Although, there's not really any chance, because we would need a Steamkin and a Spell. Well, I guess if we draw Tormenting Voice, we could go off. Although, it seems very safe. <laughs> or maybe I just save the Shock. Like, how do I win this game? I could play seven one-mana spells, right? So if I just draw a card, hope it's a cantrip. I'm gonna make myself scarce. I have four mana open. But in theory, I just draw a cantrip now. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this. Steam kit. Oh, so close. Okay. And... No luck cry. I can catch fairy, I guess? I don't know, man. I'm not gonna play the Stinkin this turn, because I'm gonna be, let's see, so two, four, five. I'm just gonna shock with the fairy so that a single kill spell doesn't save it. We're just gonna scry for a cantrip, preferably tormenting voice. Boom. Uh, I guess I keep that one. Okay, so since they activated randomly right now, um, I get to deal two extra damage to them. So that's nice. Time for Plan B. As soon as I think of one. More of the small misplays. Do I need to deal with Kaya? How many exile cards do I have? Thirteen. Oh, jeez. I guess I should put it down to four levels. <coughs> that's a lot of exile cards. I guess I've done some of it myself. I mean, I'm happy with how this deck's performing. It's just. The, the inevitable end game of Esper Control. Once we fail to kill them early enough, we're not going to be able to overcome all this stuff. We ran out of Sahili copies. Although I will say it's been doing some work. For three mana. Got a lot of that, uh, we finally dealt with that thing. I don't know if there's any way out of this from this point. I'll give it one more turn of Sahili tokens, threatening the board. Next turn they can kill their own Kaya, ultimate. Oh, it's actually... Oh, it's not lethal yet, but it's very close. If they just, uh, plus to six, it'll be lethal. Alright, I'm just gonna play everything I have this turn. That's all we got. Oh, we don't even have Scry anymore, so we'll probably just gonna fizzle. Our opponent with the inopportune tap outs is just, you know, not very relevant. Cool. We grew our steam king big enough. Cool. We're going off. Sort of. Okay, here's my board. Deal with it. It's likely they can, but, you know. If they deal with this board, we concede because Kaya told us next turn. Alright. Well, that was an interesting game, but ultimately, we knew what was going to happen. Um, when they flipped their Skanta and we were in a dominant position. <coughs> I think that matchup would just have to be addressed by sideboarding. It's too much. I don't know. I'll, I'll experiment more with Arc Light Phoenix. But Cry of the Carnaria makes me sad.
I guess I said that would be the last game, but I wanted to hop into another one after that sad loss. Actually, it looks pretty promising. I'll just go turn one opt. Well, well, I don't know what I'm looking for yet. Yeah, I'm looking for lands and Sahili, so I probably just want to burn a regular cantrip. Because if I find the third land naturally, I can scry him to the bottom. <coughs> Island. Ooh, okay. So this one, I'm just going to go for full Steamkin craziness. Let's get that going. If I get the mana advantage off of these things, then I should be able to win. Oh, I was thinking mono blue, but it's more like a trade attack. So that was pretty bad. But I could have had Lava Coil anyway. Uh, I'm probably gonna opt looking for third land if we can find it there. Hmm. What to do? If I play this second Steam Kin, I kind of want to get it to a 3 3. Before we're passing the turn. Even though they probably have Lava Coil, like they already burned a shock. But. Um, we're gonna get some good scry action off of this. So we're looking for... It's weird because we do want a fourth land, but we're not gonna scry into the top. I mean, we can likely find a fourth land if we need it. This Terramander is getting pretty close. To five by it. But at least it didn't play Drake this turn, I guess. Um, we are going to get some incremental damage in this burning profit. Um, I would definitely keep a shock. I'm not going to keep mountain. I would keep finale, I think. Sahili so is close. I don't know. Um, if he pops Terramander, it just dies, right? So I'm going to look elsewhere this game. Light up the stage. I actually like that. I'm going to just get in one damage and... Go steam can light up the stage, hope for another hope for a land in those, which is likely with the scry, and then I can play another cantrip. So if as long as we find a land in the top three, the sequence will pay off pretty well. I already don't want Sahili, so that's two on the bottom. So yeah, that would be good if we actually Oh, that's a bummer. We miss on land, so if our opponent does have a second shock, we're very sad about how this all worked out. But we can't be too unhappy with how we played that turn. And they ended up having lightning strike anyway, so it was moot. So now we're actually happy to have some more cantrips. But unfortunately we're not doing enough. Like, one, two, three, four, so they can pop this soon. Hmm, what are we trying to do? I think I'll opt... I'm not sure what we're looking for other than Steam Kin again. Go try the charm, right? That one's good. We can uh, get damage in. <coughs> if they had another kill spell, they would have played it since we're getting free scries here. Um, I think I just do it now. The extra point or so of damage I could squeak in is not worth the flexibility after this light up to stage. Like, for example, if I find a two mana creature. I'm gonna wanna play it. Every time you scry land to the bottom, it's sort of like drawing a card. So, Burning Prophet has drawn us two cards, sort of. Um, the Warlord's Fear is the one I need to play this turn. I don't know. We're not doing that much because they killed our steam pins. So we're just hoping to put something together. Maybe I shouldn't have bottomed the second Sealy because it would have at least made some tokens. I think I'll just play right up the stage, I guess. I don't know. Just get it over with. And then I know I have to play all three of these next turn. I actually do want to land, but I'm not going to keep that up top. I want a fifth lane next turn. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not going to keep the lands up top. <coughs> Sadly, the shock is revealed. So maybe what I should have been doing is digging for a way to shock that Terramander that turn. Like they've been representing dive down all game, but I still should have at least gone for it, right? 
But now... Oh, it's weird that they tapped out. Because now I can freely shock. Ah, oh, man. Is there a shock in the yard yet? I don't think so. I would love if there was some instant or sorcery and standard that I could use with Finale of Promise to reanimate creatures. Because all the creatures are two drops. And that stupid Orzhov thing is reanimate a card that costs three or less. But split cards do not work with Finale of Promise, which makes me sad. And it's the wrong colors entirely. But this deck could be red anything, you know? It could be any two colors. So it could be red, black, or red, white. But anyway, let's uh, force him to play his dive down, I guess. Maybe I can kill him next turn with two Burning Prophets in play without even having a Steamkin. Uh, I guess I might as well play around Spell Pierce since I'm going to use this mana anyway. <clears throat> Still just looking for a Steamkin. Yeah, as expected. Uh. Opt is a good card, but I don't need it in this spot. So I guess I'll just Tormenting Voice away. Tormenting Voice. Just to cash in the card draw. <sighs> Shock is almost good. I guess if I'm going for Lebo next turn. I don't know. I didn't do the math, but it seems like the best bet to win next turn. If they can't kill our cards. Although we're actually just dead now. It's sad that we were... Yeah. He could have just cast a dive down anyway, though. So. Man, so Steam Vences were reckless. But all he would have to do is play... No, it would have to be Charter Course specifically. I don't know. Difficult game. I definitely... I think I missequenced the last two turns there. Um, but yeah, red decks that can kill Steam King. A little hard. I'll play one more. I want to end on a win, but let's see. Who's your opponent? Yeah. I would like this hand much more in the play, but we're not going to mulligan. Ah, oh, man. Steam, Steam Vents really did us in last game. It's sad. Occasionally I save the one mana spells in hand to be able to trigger stuff. But with hands like this, where I don't really have anything super good to do on turn two, I just cash them in. Adonto's Vanguard is kind of interesting against the Gilly tokens. Like, how much is he willing to pay just to be able to attack every turn? <sighs> Hopefully he doesn't kill anything. Okay. They probably have a faster clock than us. Uh, what should I do? All I have is. Mm -hmm. Playing Sahili doesn't accomplish that much. I don't think. I could probably play it. If this um, Steam can lose. If they have the 4 damage with the Reckless, whatever, burn spell, we can't really win this game, but. I'm just gonna. I can bluff attack, but it would just snap it off. They would happily trade a shock with this team game for their feather, I assume. Yeah, I don't think we can just spot them, because they have that every turn now. Well, all I would have to do is have shock right now, right? soft to creatures bigger than shock damage. I don't know. This, this draw is horrendous at this point. Let's just move on. We're not going to win this game. Ah, we lost our platinum tier one. Or maybe one more loss. Alright, so we started off with three nice combo games, and then we had three rough ones. But uh, two of the losses were close. We just... Well, the Esper matchup seemed close, but it probably wasn't ever close. Um, but that Drake matchup, I probably could have won if I played perfectly. Hard to say. If I found Shock at any point earlier, man, I always want to draw when we have Sahili in hand. Uh, 
hopefully it's not an aggressive deck. Sand's pretty slow. And painful. Yeah, so having the opt in the deck, I mean, I think it's good still, but I'm keeping my eye on it always because we are costing ourselves a lot of life points many times here. I'm gonna opt, and I think the card I want the most is Steamkin. But I would definitely keep Shock. I would bottom any land. I would bottom a second Burning Prophet. I would bottom. Uh, I don't know if I would keep Fernelli at this point. I would definitely bottom Light of Stage or Healy. Um, I think I would bottom Fernelli, I promise, because I just have so much going on for the three, but the three mana slot right now. Opponent is doing nothing. Alright, well, um, I don't know, maybe they disconnected, maybe I did. Looks like I'm still connected. been happy with Burning Prophet uh, ever since I added it. Scry is pretty sweet, and I don't know. If this deck starts getting played by people, then people will respect Burning Prophet, but right now I feel like it has the ability called Crappy, which people see it and they're like, what? I don't need to kill that. What is that? Um, and then they're surprised when it suddenly does 20 damage to them. Alright. I know I talked about what I would keep on my scries, but honestly the third line is looking pretty appealing right now. Um, Cause if, I mean, they're probably gonna play Loxodon, whatever it's called this turn, and we're in bad shape. But if somehow they don't have an awesome turn, um, we would be able to protect the healer with Burning Prophet. If they play History Banalia, like, it's still a scary card, but we're fine with that. If they play something like Vanilla Marshall or Loxodon, then we're in bad shape. Oh, our opponent's frustrating. I'm considering conceding just to move on to another game. Since I'm making a video right now. Alright, they're back. Okay, so that's not what we want to see. So we'll take three damage. Put a pack. <clears throat> All right, so if we place a Healy, it'll just die. What else can we do? We can probably get Spectacle. These Steam Vents have been rough this game, I'll say that much. Eh, can't really afford to draw legs. I just need a Steam King. We need to have a chance of comboing off, you know? Trample, might as well first strike to deny him the option of blocking. I doubt that he would, but I'd rather take the choice away, you know? Okay. So, we're still in bad shape, but we're at least setting ourselves up to have a chance of comboing. If there's... Uh, is that any good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Unless they have this another just to launch <sighs> Um... If there's any way in standard to get redundancy on Steamkin, I'm going to seek it out. I don't know if there is. And definitely not in red, which is the sad thing. Um, so we're pretty much almost dead here. Let's see. What if he doesn't play anything else we're in the top spot? Um, I mean, that's not good for us, but it's fine. 
If we just had four more life this game, we might still lose. <laughs> Steam can shock, crash through. Not good enough. And so if I play Steam Guns, let's just do this first. Maybe I'll draw land too. I have to play the shock right now, which is fine. So now, since we drew the mountain, we can block one of these, take five, go to two. So the mountain is actually pretty huge, because we don't want to damage ourselves with lands. I think what I'm going to try next is, well, I want to try the Phoenix Heavy builds, not in this video, but in the future. I want to work on the Phoenix here, have heavier builds with maybe some copies of Charter Course. Um, or maybe if I can find some other way to discard them. Um, and I also want to try going back to the Mono Red version with a couple copies of Lightning Strike. And see if Sahili plus... If Sahili on its own is enough to swing those control matchups that we can afford to play cards like Lightning Strike. Because this build has seemed good. It works a lot. But sometimes when a, a cop opponent has a card like Knowledge Marshal or anything that's a 3-3, three, three, it can just feel too difficult to deal with. Uh, did our opponent just time out? Well, that's too bad for them. Alright. I can place the Healy first. Well, I think our opponent missed their turn, but I... I don't know. We'll just play on and try to win the game. But in theory, we should be at... Well, maybe they wouldn't attack with the tokens. So maybe we should be at four life, basically. I don't know. Um, for the sake of the game, I'm not sure how to fix that, but we're just going to play on as that it didn't happen. Right to discard that Sahili, but I want to keep the land open just in case. Probably gonna discard it to the second turn of the day. We'll see. Um, let's get this Stinkin in play. So now it looks like we have a commander board position. So ultimately, we did end up needing to. What the hell did I just do? <laughs> right, I guess we're playing opt. That's fine. We have a good board now. Alright, so even if our opponent is here now, they would have to respect this Steamkin being a 4-4. Four -four, so they can't even really attack with the Knowledge Marshal anymore. And even if they did, we would just jump. Do people play Pride of Conquerors anymore? I am just gonna block. I'm not gonna play around that crap. I can't afford the life loss when they have a Dante in play. And. Opt of a free token. That doesn't contribute to Steam Kid, but I'd probably be fine on Mana. <coughs> I'm tempting to try and double block a token, but... Meh. Should I take two? I kind of want to. To keep the token in play. Close though. But since I have the opt, maybe it was bad. <laughs> like, I think people don't play Pride of Conquerors anymore because of the, uh, the three mana card, right? So, 
If he plays that, he would have just played it in main phase. <coughs> I don't know what, why this one is taking so long. Like in Magic Online, you could double queue, but on Magic Arena, I feel like there's no point in any. I don't even know. Maybe they're just distracted. I don't know what that attack was all about then. I mean, it gives three. He chose not to block. Alright. Alright, um, I'm gonna opt first. Ugh. Steamkin is high enough that it's awkward, right? I don't know that though. I'm gonna opt once more, but then I need to play a red spell after that. I guess it doesn't matter what we draw because we have to discard it anyway. Um, do I want to start making a token? Yeah, I might as well. Don't want to risk coming out. Board presence. We're gonna have a lot of money, so. Oh, that's a bummer. Now we actually have to hit stuff on these two cards. Okay, we did. So that's good. Um. I don't need two movie counters on that one. I'll just do one of them. If I find a good spell, then I'll have mana sit around anyway. Yeah, we lift. Alright, can I start attacking yet? I don't think so. I guess we're just sitting here. I mean, in theory, we gain more each turn than our opponent, right? Because we both throw one card, but all of our spells make 1-1s, one and they can make 1-1-1 one, one, one in turn with the Danto. So, we're still sitting a little precariously, but... Oh, there we go. So now... Do I want to make more 4-4s? Four I don't know. I don't think this is the turn to care about that. I'd rather use it on a burning. Profit later, I think. Ooh, now we're going off. Okay, let's play this team, Ken. Cool, we did it against one of those. I guess, well, they did miss that attack, but. We chose to go to three and it ended up not mattering, so we could, even if they attacked us, they would have gotten in, I think. Three points, so we would have been at two life instead with one less token, but the token hadn't mattered yet. So, anyway. Opt. Light up the stage. I'm not trying to win this turn or anything because I don't have a burning profit. But I just want to get a huge board and find a burning profit. Come on, which one? Has, there we go. Turn on full control finally. <coughs> we have a lot of stuff. Okay. There we go. I'm going to call this video here. Um, we definitely demonstrated the power of the deck in the earlier games. We had some tough matchups against the super disruptive decks, as expected. Didn't end up winning those two. 
Um, and then we can close that with a win against a not really present mono white opponent. But I think that was a good display of the deck. It's pretty fine. I'm going to continue working on it, but for now, thanks for watching.